Hello, so this is a uh, video showing a new effect I worked on this weekend that is called the fan effect. And I uh, initially started out to try to try to create the fan effect similar to what's in Superstar. I did deviate in a few of the types of settings and the way to do it just once I started trying to develop an algorithm. I kind of liked a couple things a little bit different, so won't be able to exactly represent it if I try to import that effect, but I kind of like what I've got. So let me show you how to use it. I'm going to drop one down here. So on the first page here, I labeled the tab position. Let me slow this down a little bit. Let's see if I start at one second to four seconds, we have a three second effect. So basically it's a spiraling spiraling arms and you can control a lot of the parameters. The first two are the center point. So you can move the X over left or right. You can move the Y up and down. It's just trying to control the focus point. The radius is like a starting and ending radius so you could actually start up a little bit higher and have a hole in the middle make this a little bit taller drag it down so it covers the whole thing or you could invert them let me bring it down in view so this is starting with a high radius coming down Not every setting is going to look good, but you can you can create some pretty wacky looking things with all the different options. So let me just put it back to something that was looking decent. The other thing you'll see when the effect starts, well I'll, I'll get to that later when I, when I get to that setting. Um, angle is not, oh, that's the actual start angle, but since this thing rotates it's not all that important. Revolutions is it's going to be how many revolutions does each blade make during the amount of time you have the effect on the timeline. So in three seconds we're going to do one revolution. So you can speed that thing up. So that's five. You can go up to ten, which is almost too fast for this particular length. Or you can really slow it down so it's just barely moving. So the way we do uh, the preview, when it gets to the end of the effect, it repeats. That's why you see it closing and coming back. That's kind of what would happen at the end of the effect. So on page, or the second tab, the blade tab, it's got a number of blades. Right now we default it to three. So you can bring that down and make it just two blades, or one blade, four, five, all the way up to 16. Width is, so if you took the whole circle and divided it up by the number of blades, each blade would take up a percentage of the circle. So in three blades, each, each one's taking up one third. So this width is basically a percentage of how much of that one third each blade takes. So right now we're only taking up half the space. So you can drag that over and and it'll start taking up. That's 100% now. It's not going to look 100%, but that's because the edges are fading, fading to black. And the angle is can go positive or negative. That's how much of a bend each blade has. So if you're in if you're in here at zero, they go straight out. You can actually bend them backwards all the way down to 360. So that's a full rotation per per blade. You can get it all the way up the other direction, part way down. So you can get almost any curvature you want. Um, elements is how many elements are in each of these. So right now we're on three blades and you can divide 
can divide each one up into multiple elements. I put a limit of four because it just kind of gets too crazy if you get too many. So you can get the four elements per blade segment. So basically each blade would have a segment or a section for each color and then each one of those colors is subdivided and that's what that number of elements is doing is dividing that color down. So I'll leave it at, at 2 right now. Uh, the width is also the width of that each one of those little segments so you can make them almost one pixel wide or take up the full space. Options. The duration is if you see this is what I was talking about earlier how you see the effect kind of kind of swells in and out. If I make this really short, you'll see the swell out it's really slows it down. That's basically the amount of time the effect is fully in the view. So if you make it 100%, you never see that swell in and out. If you make it 50%, that means it basically takes 25% of the time to swell out and 25% of the time to swell back in. So 50% of the time it's fully fully displayed. Acceleration just kind of changes how quick that happens. Uses the same algorithm as, as the other two effects I did, the morph and the galaxy. Reverse, you can reverse the direction so the spin goes the other way. Blend edges, what I'm doing is each one of these is blending to black. If you turn that off, then you'll just see the raw, what the colors would be if I wasn't blending the edges down to black. But I think it looks nice to blend each one down to black. Uh, you can add in more colors. Let me put the blade elements back down to one. Kind of like that. So you can put in several colors. Do some neat stuff like make this one blade. So if you really want to see what that looked like, it was like that. And then you do the blending on the edges and you kind of a nice little color, color blend. You can really sharpen that angle. So that's like one blade with a 360. That would look pretty neat if you sped it up on a real short effect. So that should give you some ideas of how to adjust the settings and see what you come up with. So I hope you enjoy the new effect. Thanks.